Thanks for watching the video. Head over to Endless Adventures MTG on Facebook and enter 100 likes for a 100 cards giveaway. Hello, adventurers. Here we are jumping into an Ixalan draft, our first Ixalan draft. Looks like a pretty fun set. Um, looks like our rare is not playable as far as limited goes. Nice, no graphics on there. Yeah, that's we're not really interested in that one. Uh, other than that, we have our 1 1 flyer for one with vampire synergies. We have rigging runner. It's alright, nothing special. Uh, I think shapers of nature is going to be the pick in here. Pretty awesome card, good mana sync. Um, other than that, we have um, clue token sailor here. And. Um, some good removal down here, so we're gonna, but we're gonna go with uh, Shapers of Nature. All right, second pack here, excellent black removal in Walk the Plank. Uh, we have Mind Rot, pretty much, with Heartless Pillage here, um, with an upside. Got treasure sometimes. Skull Duggery, love that, love that card. That's pretty cool. Cool graphics, fun name, decent card too. Um, Paladin of the Blood Stained, good for vampires. More prosperous pirates, duress. I think we're gonna go with deep root, deep root waters. However, though, because um, I'm not seeing too many merfolks, uh, merfolk things in here. So I think if we get on merfolk. We might be able to make that a deck, Blue Green Merfolk. And I want to try this card. I think it's pretty neat. It's not necessarily amazing, but I want to give it a shot. Alrighty. Siren Lookout's an amazing card. I love this card a lot. At worst, it's a 1 2 and you get a land. At best, it's a 2 3 with a scry into the graveyard or on top of course but mm -hmm. conqueror's galleon uh, i'm not really interested in this crew four four for a 210 that crews four and flips with some interesting mm -hmm. abilities um crushing canopy get rid of flyers mm -hmm. emergent growth plus five plus five must be blocked mm -hmm. um i think here we're just going to take the siren lookout for sure Yep. Alright, Stormfleet Aerialist is pretty cool. Got a Spell Pierce. Uh, Spike Tailed Ceratops. Good blocker. Mm -hmm. I've heard that these are decent. Shorekeeper's not bad, but I don't really want to pick that up this early. I think we're just going to take the Stormfleet Aerialist, have a nice flyer here. Flyer with Raid. Seems mm -hmm. good. Shaper Sanctuary. Whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw a card. Mm -hmm. Don't think we're in with that. Um, crash mm -hmm. the Ramparts, mm -hmm. Combat Trick, mm -hmm. another Crushing Canopy. I think we're definitely going to wheel a Crushing Canopy. Mm -hmm. I've seen them in just about every pack. I think we're going to go with one with the wind here. Nothing wrong with plus two and plus two and flying for mm -hmm. two. I think it's called Jade Guardian, the Hexproof Merfolk that we'd really like to pick up. That would be awesome. Here, uh, Old Growth Dryads, I think, is just completely unplayable. It's one mana for a 3-3. It's easily removed. Um, you're getting your opponent their splash land, if possibly. Uh, so we're not into that. We're not ramping into Ancient Brontodon, necessarily. Dive Down is good protection. Uh, New Horizon, speaking of ramp, we get a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. That's not bad. Merfolk like the plus one, plus one counters, too. Uh, Siren's Ruse to blink a creature, but it works better with pirates, so I think we're going to take New Horizons here. Another Brontodon. 
Yeah, we're definitely not uh, a commune with dinosaurs deck here. Could end up ramping. Get two new horizons here. Looks like uh, that's probably what we're going to pick, too. Yep, we'll take the second new horizons. Alright, we've got some merfolk. Might wheel a merfolk out here. What is this? Three, six, seven, eight. Uh, maybe not. So, what merfolk do we want? We have mana sink here. Plus one, plus one counters on it. Storm Sculpture can't be blocked. We return a creature. That's pretty cool. And we have our Flash Flyer at five. We have a ton of three drops. I think we're just going to stick with the... I think we're going to grab the uh, Storm Sculpture here. I don't know. It's between Storm Sculpture and Windstrider, but we'll go with the Sculpture. We'll try that out. We can get that flying. Not that it needs it, but... All right, we definitely wield the crushing canopy. We'll toss that in our sideboard. I knew we were gonna do that. Probably wheel another one too. All right, here I don't really want any of the stuff. I'm gonna take the rest for constructed. I think we're doing all right for merfolk. I only have a couple of merfolk, but definitely want more if we're gonna be playing deep roof waters. It's Unfortunate that all three of those merfolk were stacked in one pack. All those, all three, what was it? Two blue and one green merfolk. Unfortunate, but I'm sure that we will see more in this triple Ixalan draft. Emergent growth, I think we'll take. Keep cutting off these colors if possible. I'm happy to take Shorekeeper here. That's not bad. Nice and late. That's how we like to take stuff like that. We'll grab the rare here. Not that we're going to play it. And dive down, sure. So we got some stuff back we wanted. I mean, that we were happy to get back, not that we necessarily wanted it. Let's see what we get in pack two. River's Rebuke. That is pretty strong for the end game. Definitely. Turning all the permanents. I think we're definitely going to snap that up. Other notable cards in here, for us at least, would be another Siren Lookout. Um, one with the Wind, Pounce, Fight Spell, and that's about it. So River's Rebuke for sure. That's an awesome limited card. Kind of, kind of excited here. I've been wanting to try to draft the blue-green merfolk. Seems like everybody is generally on dinosaurs. Everyone wants to draft the dinosaurs unless you open a pirate bomb, which I don't know if there are any super bomby pirates besides maybe Admiral Beckett Brass. But I saw, I've seen that just in videos that I've been watching get uh, passed around pretty late. All right, so here. River Herald's Boon is good, for sure, but I think we can probably wheel that. And here we will take a 1-1 Merfolk that can easily be a 2-2 for 1. Yeah, definitely going to take that up our Merfolk count. Alright, Raging Raptors is just a good card all around. I think it's what we're going to take here. To do yeah, not much else that we want. At least not in our color. Someone's gonna have awesome black red fixing with these dragon skull summons. I like that new art. I don't think I like it as much as the old art, but it's pretty cool. It's got. I really love uh, the epicness of this set with all the explorer mechanic and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. Looks like you could walk up and explore that awesome dragon mountain there. But anyways, uh, raging raptors is really awesome definitely ramps. We're going to grab that. Alright. So, for us here, Imperial Aerosaurs. Aerosaurs are great for a dinosaur deck. Mm -hmm. um, Depths of Desire. Return target creature to its owner's hand and make a treasure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or, we have 
run around, run aground, put target artifact or creature on top of its owner's library, and then Ravenous Dagger Tooth. Just another three drop. I think we want Merfolk for sure. I think we're going to take run around here. This can keep him off land. We have a lot of threes. So yeah, we'll take run aground here. Sorry, run aground. Not run around. Alright. Pounce might be what we're taking here. Dusk Legion, Dreadnought, Vigilance, 4 6 Vigilance with Crew 2. That's not too bad. That we might take that. That's not bad. I don't think Navigator's ruin. Nope. Not don't want that. Blossom Dryad, we're ramping. Don't want another dive down. Pirate's Prize, draw some cards. This might be alright. I think it's between Pirate's Prize, Pounce, and Blossom Dryad. I think we're going to go with Pounce here. A little more interaction. We only need to get lots more Merfolk, if possible. Alright, Deep Root Warrior, there we go. Yeah, and... Uh, we don't really want, we're not a Dead Eye Quartermaster deck. Not going to be searching for equipment or vehicles, but Deep Root Warrior is a perfectly good two drop merfolk. That's exactly what we're looking for. Alright. River Hill's Boon did come back around, although Colossal Dreadmaw is sick. We could definitely play a 6 6 Trampler with the ramp that we have. Um, I think we're going to just stick with our. River Hill to Boon, though. Yeah. Mm. Grab that. Two mana for two plus one plus one counters is pretty good. Alright. What have we here? You know, Builded Sentinel is fine if you don't end up drafting a lot. It's good filler. Four mana, three, three mm -hmm. artifact. Shadowed Caravel. Whenever you're a creature you control explores, put a plus one plus one counter. Two for two two crew two. Yeah, sure. Why not? There is the explore synergy with the Merfolk. Um alright, cancel for the sideboard I believe we will take. Yep. Definitely need more creatures for sure. Alright. At this point we already have a River Herald's boon. I think we're going to take an Ancient Brontodon to ramp into our creature count. Crushing Canopy for the sideboard. Wow, red looks open. Looks like our colors are pretty open too. Really want to pick up a lot more Merfolk. On his way would be awesome. Sure. Yeah. We only have nine creatures. Definitely need to prioritize creatures in the next pack for sure. We do have good quality in creatures though, I think. All right, be good to us, pack three. Do do do. All right, River Sneak. It's definitely good for our deck. Shaper Apprentice mm -hmm. has flying as long as we control another Merfolk, mm -hmm. so that's good. So which is better there? I don't think we're going to be playing Dowsing Dagger. No. Emissary of Sunrise is in white. Just looking at it out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. so River Sneak can't be blocked. Whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield, River Sneak gets plus one plus one. It's, eh, it's alright. Mm -hmm. And then Shaper's Apprentice. Shaper Apprentice has flying as long as we control another Merfolk. Mm -hmm. I want to say that we could probably wheel the Shaper Apprentice. I'm going to try to. So we're going to take River Sneak here and give it a shot. I think early. Early on, when in doubt, take the higher rarity. Alright, wow. Got more merfolk here, that's good. Another siren lookout. What is Angrath's Marauders? That's 
pretty cool. Definitely good for a red mm. deck. All right. I like Siren Lookout a lot, but I really want to mm. get these merfolk in here. Storm Sculptor, mm. we have one of those. Mm. I think we're going to take the Wind Strider this time. Mm. Yep. Snap that up. Hopefully we wheel these merfolk here. Really want to find oh Savage Stomp, dang. Oh, and the Entrancing Melody, that's really good too. Dang, ah, this has everything we want in here, but I seriously doubt I don't think we can we definitely cannot pass Entrancing Melody. No way. Mm -hmm. Control magic's too good. I just really hope we uh wheel Tashana's Wayfinder or Deep Root Warrior. And this is a good pack. Savage Stomp, even though we don't have uh, mm -hmm. dinosaurs. Man, that's a great card, but we're we gotta take entrancing melody here for sure. For sure. Alright. Alright, here looking at growing rights of Itlamok. Transform, add one. Wow, that's a pretty cool card. Um, I think I might just grab that because there isn't really anything else we want. Yeah, I don't know if we'll play it, but I know it's worth some money. Worth some ticks at the least, so snag that up. All right, Tempest Caller. That's pretty cool. Got another Storm Sculptor. Oh, there's the Jade Guardian. This is... Pretty much exactly what we want here for sure. Hexproof mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. Perilous Voyage, Return, Target Non-Land Permanent, Tutsar's Hand, and Scry mm -hmm. 2. That's pretty good too. I think it's between Jade Guardian and Tempest Caller. I think I'm going with Jade Guardian here. I really like Hexproof. Hex Plus if we can get one with the wind on there, it's really good. Alright, got Shaper's Apprentice. That's awesome. So we're definitely getting our merfolk and another shapers of nature that's awesome i think i take those and a deep root warrior too i think i'm going to take another shapers of nature over these merfolk though no deep root warriors good yeah we gotta take shapers of nature all right oh let's see we got 14 creatures perilous voyage is good though I think we need to up our merfolk though. We're just gonna keep going with the merfolk count here. Definitely let me know in the comments if you've drafted merfolk and I'm making the right choices. Awesome. Awesome. Shaper's Apprentice. Lots of nice stuff for the curve. Definitely gonna have to make some cuts. Um, let's see. Ranging Raptors is really good for ramping. I don't know if we'll do that. We'll take out Ancient Brontodon. Run of Ground seems mm. decent. Mm. Storm Sculptor, mm. Emergent Growth. Mm. I don't know if we're going to need double mm. new horizons. Mm. Uh, take another Storm Sculptor here, keep getting those merfolk. Deep Root, oh, Tashana's Wayfinder, yes, awesome. Probably won't play this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we need the Stormfleet Aerialists now. Dive Downs, no. Don't know if we're going to want to play the Shore Keeper either, but let's see if there's anything else we want to take out. Siren Lookout's awesome. I think we'll take out a New Horizons. Could go 16 lands in this deck. Possibly. Maybe mm -hmm. not double Storm Sculpture or Wind Strider. We'll figure that out when we get to deck building, though. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Got some really balmy rares, great uncommons. This is going to be a sweet merfolk deck, I think. I'm really excited for mm -hmm. Deep Root Waters, if we can draw that early. I don't know how good it is, but we're definitely going to try it. Clog up that board. Get a free 1-1 one -one with every merfolk we cast. And we're at critical mass of merfolk, mm -hmm. too, I think.
Yeah, at this point, I think we might cut the shorekeeper. Merchant growth, actually. We'll cut that. <clears throat> Our colors were definitely open. might actually be a 17 land deck here. Ba -ba -ba. Get this mountain out of here. Alright, so this is awesome if we hit it early. Otherwise, I don't know if we're super impressed with that. River Sneak I think is good. I really like the evasion. We got flying, we got unblockables. Storm Sculptor as well. It does return creatures, but that's okay. I think we might just uh, cut the Shorekeeper here. Hmm. Is either that or New Horizons? Or maybe Pounce. Pounce seems good, though. Mm hmm. Both of our rares seem really good too. I think I'm going to cut the New Horizons for now and see how that goes. The plus one, plus one counters probably helps with pounce, but hmm, maybe we just don't worry about pounce and we stick with. Uh, just aggressive and flying. If we cut Pounce, I think I'd bring back Stormfleet Aerialist for a flyer. I'm, I'm down for that. Merfolk looks like it can be pl plenty aggressive and evasive. Let's uh, see what kind of land. We only have double blue, so 11 and 6. That seems high. And we have uh, our ranging raptors as well, so how about nine and eight that seems better to me yeah that seems pretty good I think we're gonna run it like that for sure all right we'll see you in the first match All right, here we are for match one in our very first Ixalan draft with what I hope will be a really awesome Merfolk deck. This hand needs a land, but I think we're going to risk it in a 17 land deck, and we will keep it and drop our Shorekeeper on one. Creature type Trilobite. Awesome. I wonder if there are other trilobite creature types already. I have to look that up. Yeah, a land next would be really good. River Sneak into Shaper Apprentice would be great. Ooh, bummer. That hurts. Alright, we will not attack and send a message. That kind of just puts us back to playing second if we draw a land here. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. All right. That is very unlucky. Very unlucky indeed. Definitely going to drop off a storm sculpture here, it looks like. Oh, cool. Don't have to discard yet. Wow, very unlucky in a 17 land deck. Sure. All right, so we're up against black white vampires. Want to gain some life? Yep. All we want is land. There we go. All right, we're going river sneak into shaper apprentice. Hopefully 
draw Greenland, we can River Herald Boone as well. I don't think we're going to start chumping with Inspiring or uh, Shorekeeper just yet. Be a lot better if it was a zero four for us right now, at least. Yeah, we're way behind on land. Hopefully, we can grow our way out of this. Ooh, jeez, wow! All right. Oh my goodness. Well, definitely gonna play that and get in with our river sneak. That's gonna be good if we can draw the lands. some vampires have flying so our shaper apprentice might not be super awesome Let's see here Greenland for River Herald's boon would be pretty cool yeah geez opponents going off I don't know if we're gonna come out of this one that is really strong That's a really good start for our opponent. Really bad for us for what looked like a great risky hand. Kadoki. Yeah, we're just gonna block chump there for now. Let our opponent gain a bunch of life. That is crazy. We definitely need lands. I think we can win, but it's gonna be really grindy. up hope quite yet there's the land Whew. I don't know if we can race though is the problem we will be able to get rid of some of their stuff um, here I think we're just going to attack and River Herald's boon gonna be taking a lot of damage next turn <clears throat> this next turn we're going to be getting hit for exactsies it looks like yeah that was an unfortunate start that was a good hand we had three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh down one. We'll be at one. Okay. We'll see what we draw. And it's up to 27. Sure. That will do it. All right. Hoping to draw better the next game. I think Pounce will probably be good this match. Pounce and lands. <clears throat> we might want to ramp into our top end, too, with New Horizons. I think we're going to cut the Stormfleet Aerialist. We still have our Ranging Raptors. Shorekeeper did not seem great there at all. I'm going to cut Shorekeeper for Pounce. And we're going to try it like that. <laughs> Hopefully have some lands this next turn. Or next uh, match. Alright, here we go for the second game in our first match. We will play first and hopefully not struggle on lands. Alright. 
Not a lot of merfolk, but we do have our deep root waters and our ranging rafters, and we cannot pass this up. We are going to keep this and hope to draw some creatures. Deep root waters will be really good against those vampire tokens, as long as we can keep drawing merfolk. <clears throat> ranging ra rafters will also be good against tokens. Come on, two drop merfolk. Huh? Got a three drop creature. But I don't think we'll play it on turn three. Opponent, no play on turn two. That's nice. If we draw a merfolk, I think we're going to take turn three. Well, I think we're going to take turn three to drop deep root waters anyways, just because nothing else is going on. <clears throat> we have plenty of lands that ranging raptors uh, ramp is not super important right now. Love to draw a merfolk here. That is not a merfolk, but it is an entrancing melody that we have lands for. So I think now we're going to go ahead and play out our siren lookout and explore, see what we can find. Hopefully, not a land. And it's a land. <laughs> wow! It's feast or famine around here. Feast or famine. That's disappointing because I think this deck is really good. It's got some bad draws. Opponent not playing a land yet. I'll take a miss for them for sure. We will take two. Yep. Yep. Wouldn't have been chumping anyways. Jedi Tormentor. Kidoki, we will discard a forest, no problem. Hey oh, there's a merfolk. Alright, so now I think we're gonna river sneak and ranging rafters. River sneak and deep root waters is Pretty excellent together um, if we can keep casting merfolk. Gets us two triggers for River Sneak, I believe. Oh. Ah, not. Yeah, it will once we get there. Right here it doesn't. Um, and then we'll play out Ranging Raptors. Get in with Siren Lookout. Eh, we'll wait. We don't want to take out this uh, Territorial Hammer Skull. That card is super annoying. Either that or we can steal it next turn. Opponent's coming in. Going to tap our Raptors, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So we're going to just go ahead and kill this. I'm okay with that. We keep a creature out of it, hopefully. Hopefully no uh, combat tricks here. Yeah, uh, of course. That's a bit of a blowout, but oh well. <clears throat> sure. Skittering Heartstopper. Oh my goodness, the lands. The lands. Well, I think we want to take the Territorial Hammer Skull.
because that's just going to be super. We don't really have any other way of dealing with it. So we will take that and get in with both, I believe. Yeah. say that flood beats screw so we will be able to play anything we draw yeah now yeah, gain the life back sure kidoki hit for 3 yep their vampires old sin gear junkie does oh my goodness deck really this is just getting a little ridiculous now <laughs> all right I think we're going to just attack with the hammer skull and the river sneak Creature and leave the raptors back to block with our combat trick up. And pass. <clears throat> Bouncing all their creatures later with our other bomb should be pretty good. we lose our ranging raptors and gain a land out of our deck thin our deck a bit hey that works for me we do want to thin our deck out thank you very much oh my gosh seems like there's so many still What have you got, opponent? Yep, sure. Gotta be aware of that, even though they're nowhere near the mana that you need to activate that. New Horizons, okay. <clears throat> well, opponent hits for two, three, four next turn if we attack with everything. Enchant, sure, an island. Man, we better start drawing good here soon. Did I miss something here? No, okay. We'll put a plus one, plus one on our river sneak so we can keep the beats. unblockable beats which is nice Moto's kind of laggy here which I don't like so we can get in for eight here I think that's pretty good unless they block with the blight keeper yeah we're gonna 
Yeah, well, well, we can tap the plate keeper. We'll attack with everything here. I think we can go one more turn before we have to leave up blockers, I'm hoping. Because they're nowhere near the blight keeper activation. Also, they don't have any vampires out if they draw that one vampire that gives plus two plus O. Oh. Wow, going, going aggro. What have you got, opponent? A life linker, okay. I don't know if I would have attacked with everything if I was them. Definitely play this out and get some triggers for sure. Always yield. Always yield. That's pretty awesome. Now I think we just win. Three, yeah, that's, that's unless they have uh, something crazy here. <clears throat> Gotta swing for lethal though, right? We do have two blockers. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I don't know if there's a, a one mana spell that uh, kills our creatures in white. Alright, um, that was a bit floody, but I think we're going to run it back like that, maybe. I don't know about New Horizons. We really didn't need it there at all. Hmm. I would like to throw more creatures in. Let's take out New Horizons and bring back Stormfleet Aerialist and try it like this. There we go. Alright, game three. Let's see if we can pull out a W here. Got plenty of time left on the clock. This hand looks good. I like it. Curve out pretty nicely. Pick up our Shaper Apprentice and then drop it back down for another token. Ah, opponent has a one drop. We have a land, but we do have all the colors we need. We definitely have some bombs. If they don't aggro us out like they did that first game, we'll be all right. either oh my goodness lands well I'm glad we took out that uh, ramp enchantment I can't remember the name of it right now but I think that was the best choice if we're gonna be flooding I'm not really worried about getting hit for one by a skittering heart stopper if 
for a few turns, so we're definitely not going to be chumping. <clears throat> pretty cool get a hexproof 3-3 flyer that'd be pretty neat indeed so we will take some damage this next turn trade just yet. We're going to take four. A little longer and hope to stabilize. Storm Sculptor doesn't seem great here. I would prefer to draw another Merfolk besides Storm Sculptor. Kidoki, Exploring opponent. Vampire Zeal. Alright, so they have a combat trick. stuck it's plus two plus two and gains first strike so they kept that on top of their library hey oh that's not bad <clears throat> that is not bad at all I don't think so let's play out a forest Probably end up stealing this Dire Fleet Interloper as soon as we can, as soon as we hit six. I think we got to do this right now. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem too awesome, but it is what it is. Shaper Apprentice. We'll be able to start some beats here pretty soon. They're going to take kind of a lot this next turn, unfortunately. But we will steal the Dire Fleet Interloper. after this if we can make it that long. Yeah, I think we got a chump here unfortunately because we're going to be taking six, seven, yeah. We're going to go ahead and chump with our token for now. our bounce spell and not a forest. I think we gotta steal this now. We can't steal that. We have to have seven mana. We can only steal this one. That doesn't seem very good. Hmm. What to do? Well, I think we gotta go Shaper's Apprentice and one with the wind. Yeah. We're gonna try that. Oh man, 
we can find that bounce spell. It's going to be so sweet. Getting close. <clears throat> well, it has lethal on board. They're going to be able to kill whatever they want here, pretty much. That's the best we can do for now. Yep. stabilize. I think it might be bounce spell or bust here. Oh wow, double called the beast. Come on, bounce spell. Oh my gosh. Well, that's just how it goes sometimes. We'll see you in round two.